Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So we have gotten a bunch of mechs repaired. We've still got a lot to get back here, as you can see. Uh, it's going to take a while to get a bunch of these guys back. But let's have a look at the barracks and we'll see where we're at here. Oops, not barracks. Keep doing that. Mech bay. Um, we'll see where we're at. All our pilots are back, so we're good to go there. So we got a pair of Timberwolves, Yorman Gundir. We've got our second lance, basically, and awesome at a catapult. So that's what we have right now. So I've already figured out what we're going to do today. We're going to go to the command center. We're going to have a look real quick. So the first mission we're going to take is going to be the general. Now, this one is Five Skull. It's assassinate missions against lo local pilot, pirate organization, which I think we should have no problem with. So we're going to take this one. Then right after, we'll take, with the second lance, we'll take the supply interdiction. Uh, for Clan Ghost Bear, because we, we're still trying to get our rep up with these guys. Uh, we got rep reputation of five right now, so uh, yeah, we need to do some work on that. Uh, we've been bouncing back and forth, taking some off, adding some on, so we'll work on that. Now, we've also got this untouchable one. We might do that next episode, target acquisition. We'll see how it goes. It's against Clan Ghost Bear, so I'm not sure if I want to do that. We might just jump planets after this, this next mission. I'll figure that out at the end of the episode, seeing how we're doing. So let's take this one. Let's negotiate this. Chances are we'll be up against about 10 mechs or so. So we're going to go full salvage. This should cover our drop cost. And I've already got a good idea what I want to launch with this group. So um, let's pull these out for now. Giant can come out. We're going to move everybody back one here because Griff is now back in the battle. So we're going to load up the awesome uh, for Griff. Yeoman Gundir we're going to give to Rhino. I'm going to bring that. Um, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to give six pack to catapult, and then I think we're going to use nope this one timber we'll see with the double PPCs and the LRM15. I want to use a lot of range attacks on this one. I don't want to close with a lot of these guys. So we've got our minefields here, which I haven't upped the number of minefields. We we still have another like we like ten shots. I think I can't remember what it is. Number of, I think it's ten turns of fire with the. Uh, um, fast cam, so we'll see how this goes. I think we'll be taking a lot of mech's legs off, so we should have choice parts. And then from a distance, we've got the t Timberwolf and the Awesome and the Catapult uh, doing a significant amount of damage. Um, I think we should be just fine. Alright, here we go. Alright, so probably going to be facing about 10 guys, roughly. Thank you, Captain Obvious. All right, we're going to get up. I think we're going to play this one a little safer. Going to go into the trees here. So as we're getting started, I just want to apologize for not uh, um, having episode out yesterday. A um, little busy around the household. Um, my youngest, who is an aspiring actor, just got asked once again to uh, do a couple things. One, they got asked back. Commander. On the series they worked on uh, just before summertime, they have to do a few pickups. But the other thing was is that they got asked to submit a demo. Um, a Baron, what the hell's that? Enemy detected. A Bane, oh my God, Blood Asp. Uh, they got asked to submit a demo for. Uh, what am I going to shoot for here? Um, they got, uh, sorry, I'm losing my, my track of my thoughts here. They got asked to submit a demo for, um, uh, Disney TV series, believe it or not, as like the lead character. So that'll be kind of cool if that happens. Uh, we got a weapons on the right, if I remember correctly. What do we got here? Catapult, Bane, no idea what the weight of this thing is. Um, you know what? I'm going to hold off. Quick draw. Order. We don't have a good chance to hit. I'm just going to hold off. Let's just put you here for now. Roger. And what do we got? See, 30%. 56 against the Bane. Oh, crap. Well, that looks like it's our target. Jesus Christ, look at this thing. You know, I did up the I did up the difficulty, so one point of damage. 
I mean, we could look towards instability here. Catapult to do three. Two against the Blood Asp. Four against the Quick Draw. Gonna hold on. Black Hat. Drillson. Fafnir. See, now I want to lay minefields over there. I'm trying to think of where, my, my, where the minefields are going to come down first. Yeah, they can see us, damn it. Although, I think it's got to be this guy. Yeah, see if we can get some early damage in. Okay, not bad. Sorry, that's a jet ski? Oh, Jess won. <laughs> Waiting for orders. I was going to say, they're sick of the jet skis on us now. Um, on the move. I think you need the minefields this turn. Get an arc on you. Um, I think the five should be enough. And yep. Enjoy those minefields, buddy. If we can move up this side too, I can fill that with minefields. Those are cyclops. If I can fill this with minefields, these guys will have to come through and who knows how much damage they'll take. If we can stay back far enough and they don't have LRMs, this could be a kill ground right here. They might come up through this way though. I don't know. These guys appear to be coming up this way, so I, we'll see. Drillson will take damage. Maxim. Keep an eye on the damage meter. Okay, took a bunch of damage there. He's moving back, which is nice, because that means this guy can share in the minefield next turn. See, now I want to drop it over here. Stay back. Let's split our fire. And let's, we got thunder ammo, so let's use it on this, on B. Still 37% chance to hit, but any minefield over there right now is a good idea. Okay, two PPC hits, nice. Enjoy a bit of mines. Got some more coming in a minute. Yeah, they may come this way, which means we need to supply them with some minefields. Mm. Heading out. This guy's got to die. But I'm thinking we can take his legs. I'm thinking we can. So, quick draw. ER mediums, lightly armored. It's a chance to hit this guy pretty darn low. Thinking maybe we can kill a couple vehicles here early on. No. No. What about the catapult? Actually, let's tab through these guys and see what we got here. So the MMLs for catapult. 
We know this guy already. SRMs and LRMs, kind of minimal loadout, minimal armor. No idea on the Cyclops. SRMs, he's got to get close. Quick draw. The Baron has got to get close, which means we can take his legs, hopefully. I look at the melee damage in that thing. Yeah, it's got pretty chunky leg armor. Drillson. I think we take on the quick draw here. It's just fire. We gotta start working on this, so let's do it. I think we're gonna split our uh, fast cam. If this guy can't see us directly, those rotaries are useless. But these guys, if they get close, especially this Baron gets close, we're in trouble. So let's get Griff. Um, see, we're in Baron range and spotting right now. Stay away from there. Let's back up here. Going to drop our swarm over here. Let's go against the quick draw. Well, maybe not. The Banes, look at the best chance to hit. But I think it's going to be the quick draw because we'll be able to fire up more. Like he's close to other people, right? Yeah, we'll swarm it so we can hit both. Meh. Okay, I'm going to drop it on you. B's taking fast cam. Um, and let's take you as C. Gonna go, whoops. This route. I want to make sure we get a narc shot on that Baron. Okay, minefield, minefield. A little bit of damage. Let's see what they do here. Uh, I'm worried about our ammunition situation. I think if we have the minefields in the right spots though, we won't have to worry too much about it. I mean, we, we can take the guys in the left. I don't even have any idea what the boss guy is yet, but the guys in the left should easily be taken out by um, Mockingbird and Griff with lasers. And if we can pull the legs off mechs on this side and here, I think we'll be okay. Just got to keep applying those minefields, and hopefully they'll just move through them and... and take a half decent amount of damage. The other thing too is once this guy gets close um, I should save some uh, thunder ammo on the um, black cat or on the uh, sorry on the mad cat here in order to uh, stop him from meleeing. We've learned we've had that used against us so we can use it against them. As long as he's got to run through a minefield it'll stop his melee attack. If we haven't taken his legs off before then. Yeah, enjoy those minefields, buddy. See where this guy goes. I think we switch to this target next turn. He's backing up, so we can't see him. So we're going to switch to the Baron. Black Hat's got to come through the minefield. Quick Draw's got to come through the minefield. The Fafnir's got to come through the minefield. Yeah. Light damage. Holding firm. What's up, boss? Affirmative. Okay, so what do we got for chances to hit here? 33. 43 in the catapult, 37, 63 in the Baron, 
but almost no damage. Quick draw has got 43 again. Maxim 56. Um, yeah. Let's try to get them on, so they don't get eyes on here. Standing by. Okay, do you have... Cyclops moved, eh? You don't have eyes on the Cyclops anymore. I do up here. So Cyclops again. And we're going to add... They don't have very much thunder left. Thirty, huh? Thirty-three. Let's just fire on that side. Nice. Two more hits. A little bit of damage here and there. Way to help out. What's he using? Didn't see the damage on that. What the hell is he shooting me with? I have no idea what the hell he's shooting me with. Alright, let's stay out of their line of sight. Until we can shoot at them, that is. Relatively easily. Quick draw, 33. Baron, 30. So, let's go with quick draw. Man, we barely have any ammo. What about this guy? 30%. Let's fire on the Maxim. He's already taken damage. I know it seems like a silly target, but if he gets up here and, and is able to spot us, it's just going to increase our chance to hit. Receiving you. Going to keep moving back up this way. Confirmed. Haven't got much fast cam left. Um, quick draws at the front. Yeah, let's go with everything on him. On Have fun going through those minefields, guys. So I'm thinking the Yorman Gundir is going to hold off using its LRMs right now. Want to save him, I think. What is this guy back here? Spectre. That can't be the boss. Blood ass Bane. Who's Lance 1 and who's Lance 2? That's what I want to know here. I know we know these guys. Lance 2. I got a feeling the Spectre, the Maximum, and the other vehicle are probably from the boss's group. So there must be. We got three, four. There must be. Um, 12 guys. Drillson. So is the Spectre the boss? 
if that's the case, we can end this relatively quick. That can't be right. Why would the Spectre be the boss? Yeah, this guy... <laughs> This guy's not having a good day now. One more one more minefield and I think he's going to lose a leg. This guy's going to lose. But look at how much leg armor's already gone off this guy. Black hat. Uh barely any. He should he's in the minefield. Yeah, we'll find out. We've still got three turns of mines left, I think. Three or two? Three turns, I think? Uh-huh. Okay, Mockingbird. Let's shoot this Cyclops. We're going to leave the swarm off. Just going to fire against this guy, then we're going to move back. Two more hits. Nicely done. And I move back into cover. I'm there. So this guy... We pinned somewhere. Oh, stop with the pings. That's the Jess. Where's the Maxim? That's the Catapult. That's the Maxim. Position confirmed. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. Aye, aye. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Target's taking a critical hit. Well, we're on a multi-target next turn. Or this turn with the uh, Yorman Gundir. Gonna split fire. Gonna put all the LRMs on that other on that vehicle. I wonder if it's gonna be useful to move Griff up this way. Let's leave the LRM off for now. Cyclops is taking a fair bit of damage. Just hammer him. Yes! Another juicy hit on him. And Rhino, I want to multi off you if you could, please. Um, don't step in the forest. It's going to give you damage reduction, but it's also going to make it harder for you to hit. So we're going to multi. Um, yeah, these guys are coming up this way, so... Quick draw. Oh, God. we got four left. Um, let's do this. Fingers crossed. Roger. Enjoy those minefields, boys. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. One down. Vehicle trash. So that was part of the main lance. These guys are just enjoying these minefields now. Have fun moving, buddy. I don't know, man. This rack guy, I think we gotta hit him with another minefield, but 
Like this is all mines in here right now. He's not moving up, so I'm not really that worried about him. I think the Spectre is the boss, actually. I have this feeling that that's the boss. Nicely done. Hopefully we don't run out of AMS ammo. It's the catapult that's going to drain it. Okay, he looks like he's taking a smidge of damage. The black hat hasn't moved yet this turn, though. They are quite quick, though. I'll give it for him. That's one thing. We are kind of slow right now. And this really isn't the opti optimal mech configuration for what we're doing here. So hopefully that uh, quick draw is going to lose its legs. If not, it'll be pretty close. Okay, so that should have taken... Yeah, it's taking a bunch of damage. Quick draw moved again. At least we have an idea of where they're going to be going here. Standing by. That Cyclops is a sucker for punishment. He just wants us to stay up there, so we're going to, going to treat him to some sucker damage. Uh, we're going to multi, though. Direct fire. Indirect fire. Uh, we'll go with the swarm on... Well, we won't go with the swarm on anything. Just fire on A. Gotcha. A nice. Hopefully Griff can do some significant damage to him. Right now, the catapult's the threat? Yes, Commander. On it. I don't know if that'll continue. Now, I probably should see if we can smoosh this guy. Yeah. Is he going down? Yep. Now the question is, do we take his leg? I don't know. We'll find out if we can get a direct shot on him here. Oh. You gotta go. Oh, the Bane is vanishing. Let's do this. Right, this is the SRM guy. Doesn't have much armor though. 110. We'd have to get three shots in that front to get rid of it. Um, but we have a chance of killing the Cyclops, so let's... Actually, you know what? Let's just see here really quick. We target this guy, yeah. 76 left in the leg, so we, he did lose his leg. We're gonna multi. Or do we? All right, let's just target this guy. Eh. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think we take it. Uh, I'm going to Warlord this one. And fire. Still going. Damn it. Alright. You know what your job is. I don't think moving closer is going to give us much better chance to hit. But let's drop... Um, one regular, one not, one not Inferno, normal, on this guy. And I'm going to leave... That'll leave us eight turns... Six turns. Let's fire a narc on this guy too. Uh, and I'm going to Warlord cool us off a little bit. Let's fire on this guy. I'm saving one fast cam. I don't know. I'm really hoping these guys move through here. I think the choice of staying back here was probably the best one. They really only got the catapult for long range firing. Keep an eye on my heat commander. Yep, yeah, don't worry. And the catapult's not being that effective right now. I mean, we're going to run out of AMS soon. Hopefully, you know, after it runs out of ammo. But we'll see. Just wish these guys would move a little quicker. Okay, Mockingbird. Uh, you're overheated. So let's just get you down in here. And we're only going to use one PPC. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. How much heat we're going to save here. Oh yeah, that's a fair bit. Let's just hammer this vehicle. Oh, nice. So we got a chance to kill this guy now. That Cyclops is in pain. Most of its armor is gone. We haven't done that much to its internal structure yet, though. If I can get a better eye on how much damage this guy has taken, I might do a split fire. Oh, what was that? That's the Basilisk. I keep calling it a Basilisk. <laughs> the Blood Asp. Oh, this guy took more damage. You're pinging me, eh? How are you doing here? Oh, you're getting there. I don't think dropping... Well, maybe dropping one more. The black cat is like... Almost lost its legs. Wow, this guy's lost a lot of armor on the legs too already. We could drop... If these guys follow suit... If we drop one more here... We could get... We could get all of these guys... Well, I don't know if we'll get the the Baron, but definitely the Black Hat most likely, and Fafnir will be almost legless by the time it comes out of there. So I think that's what we do. Yeah, it's taken. This guy should be taking a lot of damage now. Yeah. He's almost got no leg. His legs are almost gone. He's pretty much done now. Um... Shit, we got direct sight at this guy now. Okay, his side is almost gone. So I think we're going to do a multi on you and you. Because that Cyclops is just not moving. I'm going to switch these two over to B. Now that should hit A. That should go to B. And we'll fire. Engaging. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, all three hit. Nice. Enemy magic. Critical damage detected. Commander. 
I need you to hit that Cyclops, please. Copy that. Then you're gonna rest for a turn. Get your heat back. Ah, really? No, nope, not enough. Solid connection on that one. Commander. This is gonna be a multi. Actually, let's just uh, fire first. Standing by. I mean, we could drop it here. He's got to come through there anyway. Right? And then that guy will be B. Maybe like that. I think so. There's our last uh, fast cam. So hopefully when he moves... Ooh! <laughs> I don't know, he's a crater. I don't think you're salvaging anything from that. <laughs> I still love that animation, it's brilliant. Okay, quick draw. He's got to go through the minefield. He's almost got no leg left. He's backing up. If he comes forward again, he's going to lose his leg. I just hope this rack guy doesn't fire. Because we're in, we're in sight of the rack twos. That's a lot of twos. Yeah, Black Hat's going to go. This guy, I'm interested to see how far he's going to make it through this minefield. I don't think he's going to make it all the way through. This guy's taking significant damage. There's the Spectre. Warning. Of course. He's going to shoot me. He's going to shoot me in the head. How far did this guy get damaged? Still not enough. But he's got to—he's going to come through here, I think. I don't know if they'll come this way. We're going to retreat around this way. Yeah, there's all those racks. Damn it! Morning. Wow, another head hit. Guess who's going down? God damn it! Just don't shoot, guys. Don't shoot. It goes on turn 12, really. Ah, I'm going down. I'm just going to lie down here if you don't mind. Warning. Armor low. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injuries. Yep. This is the blood asshole up here, I guess, eh? That's the specter. That's the catapult. Yeah, he's come across the map, man. I don't know what he's got going on with his weapon systems, but he's come across that map. There's the Drillson. Damn it. Um, Ten four. sixty three, huh? Ah, only got one. All right. All 
All right, dropping some more mines on this guy. Hopefully he'll lose his leg. Oh, there goes that guy. I don't know if he'll lose his leg or not. Ready for orders. Where was that? I know we were going to turn ourselves off here for a turn, but it's not get. Oh, it doesn't matter where I go. Oh, here we go. I was going to say, it didn't matter where I go, the blood ass was going to see us, but what a difference, eh? In chance to hit. Dead fire is almost not worth it. We should just put um, thunder rounds in that thing. I want to try to remove this direct fire guy. Because of that. I don't know if lying on his back like that, if, um... Roger that. Let's multi. Or do we? Yeah. Here. Here. Um... Come on. See? I can't get... Oh, I can't see him? It's outside of my range, eh? Okay. Uh, let's go this route. Um, damn it. If that is the leader, let's see if we can get some uh, narc on him early. Firing on mobile. Yeah, it is. No ping. Everybody on the Spectre. Repeat negative damage. Wow, he actually survived. That's crazy. Okay, the head is almost gone. And that's the right arm, so I needed to keep my left side facing them, like that. I think. Let's try and kill the Drillson. Everyone on everything on the Drillson. Damn. Not quite enough. Now he's going to roll away. <sighs> Jeez, this guy goes on 30. Look at that. Hopefully he keeps moving in. We, if we all hammer him, maybe we can take him down in one turn. We could still sneak out of this, too. Kind of. I mean, if we pull him down... We wanted to leave. We could go back this way and over here. Okay. It's not going to make it easy. He's unstable though. Ooh. Baron, how's he doing? I have no idea. Quick draw's almost got his other leg gone though. Fafnir. Moving slowly, but uh, still having problems with his legs. Commander? Uh, you know what? Okay, here's the question. Do I reserve past 17 and let Rhino destabilize this guy and then we all pummel him? I think that's what we do. It's a risky move. But I think it's the right move. That Bane is scary as hell. Okay, we're out of uh, Minimal damage on that. AMS ammo.
All I need is one head hit. That's all I need. I think if we can kill a Spectre, this Drillshin should go down quick. The Quick Draw has got nothing. Legs of the Baron can come off. Probably not that fast. So, I mean, we can't go this way. Fafnir, yeah, it's starting to lose a fair amount of armor on the legs now. Um, so that's a bonus. Yeah, overheating me. Starting to cook. Yeah. Where am I here? Yeah, we're running the risk here, but we gotta do it, I think. That blood asp and that spectre can't get behind us. They've got us relatively pinned in here. The blood asp has been completely ineffectual this whole battle. Which is a bonus for us. Um, I think you fire from here. That's still indirect. Wait, what? See, that says direct fire. And then I click to move there, and then it says it's indirect. The hell? Really? <sighs> Let's make sure we get a narc on him. Firing. Okay, we got a ping. Get out of the fire. Let's put this guy's ass on the ground, please. Okay. How much has he got left here in the CT? She should kill him if she hits with both. There it is, folks. That's a kill. Good job. Have I said that she's the most reliable of us of us all here? Pretty sure I have. Let's finish this guy up. Uh, we need to move, though. We've got to get at least one Chevron of evasion if we can. Taking a little bit of heat damage, but wow, what a difference in uh, chance to hit. Okay, so that guy's gone. Enemy unit destroyed. Wow, man. Okay. Now what do we do? Blood Asp and Catapult are still at full strength. And that's all that's on the left. And then we've got... Wait, we're, oh yeah, we got the guy back here still too. Quick Draw's almost lost his leg. Uh-huh. Engine shut down. Yeah. I'm a sitting duck. Well, they gotta get to you first. Wow. 
What's he doing? Waiting for everybody else to show up, I guess. These guys have still got a couple of turns. Watch my heat. I'm taking damage. No idea what this guy's legs are doing here. What's up, boss? Moving to position. All right. Hammer him. It's got 40% damage reduction. I'm there. Uh, I got one more turn till uh, Warlord's back. So we're going to multi this. This guy. Uh, where is that quick draw? Right there. Like this. Okay, nice hit. Ah. What do you think, Griff? Think, buddy. What do you think? Think it's time for some Warlord here? Let's just shoot him. Really? Long range missiles depleted. Well, the LK ammo's depleted, you mean? What's up, boss? Okay, not so bad. That's a little worse. This isn't looking too good. Yeah. Okay. Fire the swarm at this guy again. Engaging target. Come on, get those legs. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, quick draw gone. Then there's five. That's the guy that I'm I'm terrified of right there. Okay, he's back into the minefield though. Um I wonder if we take a take a turn to relax here if with this one and get cooled off, or if we keep lobbing them. We're gonna overheat here. Uh, we're taking significant arm damage, right? Let's leave these two off for now. You know what? We're gonna fire two on the blood ass. We got good chances to hit, so let's take it while we can. Same idea. Uh, we got swarm left, sixty-one. It was full damage. I had to take it. Let's move around this way. Okay, we got normal ammo. We got inferno ammo. Um, this is for the blood asp. LRM5 switch to NARC. These guys going to normal. We're going to leave them off though. Let's, let's leave these all off. We're going to double, double tap this guy with the arrow and the inferno. Roger. That hit something good. So he should be nice and super heated now. And anyway. 
What the hell? This stink. You know what? I think that's what happened in the other uh, battle when that mech was doing the moonwalk. Maybe. I don't know. That was weird. God, he's coming too close for my liking. <sighs> the worst thing about this is the Bane has got us pinned in up here. So it's not like... We can just, like, move in one direction or the other because that thing could just shoot us. That hit something good. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that guy. Reading you. Yep. Commander. Uh, get reserved until Grip, grip gets the hell out of your way there. Okay, firing on him again. Slowly whittling, him, whittling this guy down. I copy. Um. I'm not doing so well here. Um, let's just go with the Inferno. Heat up that catapult too. Yeah, definitely need to put a couple more tons of fast gam in this uh, Yorman gun deer. Oh well, somebody's coming up the hill. I don't know how fast that guy can move. That's my worry. No, he's not up the hill yet. There's the Bane moving in. Yes, Commander. Copy that. I wonder if this guy shut down. That is a really good possibility. 84% chance to hit. What do you think, guys? We can't kill his head. Wait, even with Warlord, it's that chance to hit? That much heat? That's a lot of heat. 88% chance to hit this guy, though. Okay. Don't know how this Fafnir's legs are doing. I 
I mean, if we make a sprint for it, they'll catch us in the water. They will. This guy will kill us in the water, the Bane. I don't know what we're going to do once he crests the hill. Have to overheat his ass, I guess. It's the only thing I can think of. All right, what are they doing? Calculating a blood ass move, I guess. He's got a lot of um, heavy medium lasers and stuff on him, so that heat is not doing him any favors at all. Plus, he's taken significant damage already, so. The other thing, too, is we're, we're, we've already destroyed the guy, so we can withdraw with good faith. If it looks like this uh, guy's going to kill us. This Bane. Moves pretty quick for a mech with four Rack 2s. I hope it doesn't lock up here, because we're moving pretty freely. It will really suck if it has. Um, oh man, please tell me it hasn't locked up. <sighs> I think it has. Going to give it a few more seconds here to see what happens. I think it was actually a fairly well fought battle. I mean, if I swapped out, like, maybe I should pull out the Inferno ammo on the Jormund Gundir. Or maybe just leave one ton in. And like I said, those LRMs that we have in there, maybe we just leave a LRM 10 in with, with the option to use NARC ammo. And add a bit more NARC, because right now we've only got uh, 60 rounds. So for an LRM-5, it's still 12 turns, but if it's an LRM-10, we'd need a couple of, of those in there. Right? And then I think we've got... I don't know if we've got Thunder... I think we might we might still have Thunder ammo. So that's an option, too. And just make this guy, like, like would have the regular arrow ammo for damage, for instability. But then just make this guy just... All he does is lay minefields. Right? Stand back. Full armor. Lay, lay, lay minefields at a distance. And yeah, I think it's crashed. Hate to say this, guys, but I think it did. And I was ready to withdraw with good faith, too. Uh, well, the salvage was only like 2 slash 10 or something. 2 slash 9, whatever it was. I don't feel ripped that ripped off, but I, I mean... That was a pretty good battle overall, I think. The Baron, I have no idea what his legs were down to. This guy, eh. Catapult's still full strength. This guy, I don't know. Like, we did some damage to his torso here, but not much. Yeah, that's... It's totally crashed, unfortunately. Oh well. Okay, I am going to force quit out of this, and I will be back to the main screen in a second. All right, guys. Well, here we are back on the ship. I had to reload. Yeah, you know, that's kind of a pain in the ass. That was really... I thought we did, did a fairly good job. I don't know if we would have gotten out. We probably would have had to withdraw unless we were ready to take, you know, significant damage. Um, but I thought we did pretty well on that mission. Um, but for the rest of the episode, I want to go and have a look at our mechs and just do a few tweaks on them, I think. So let's have a look at the Jormund Gundir here. I'm going to refit this guy. So I'm thinking that, as I was saying earlier... I think the LRMs on this thing are, are really a waste. I think we keep one. Um, let's pull... Uh, do I want it on the arm? Probably. I want the better chance to hit. So let's pull the LRM 5, this 10. Um, regular LRM ammo. We've got the NARC ammo. What else do we got here? We've got three, four, five slots left. Um, three slots for ammo. 
So let's have a look here. LRM incendiary, incendiary half load. I don't really think that's the way to go. Uh, LRM doubles, half loads of regular LRM ammo. Chaff. We got narc. Chaff would be a good um, complement with that. Let's split it up on different torsos. Actually, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, yeah, maybe we better split it up. Um, LRM Swarm, Thunder, Thunder Half Load. Uh, what do we got? 95 tons? We got four slots and 95 tons. We don't have max armor on this guy. That's one thing we can do. Let's max out the, well, okay, maybe not. Wow, that was quick. Um, what do we have? Yeah, because that was the one thing we never did do is... Um, Increase the armor. Spall liner, does that give us we don't we need we need free slots for that. We could put patchwork in giving us a half a ton. Um, we pull the LRMs out all together and just go with the two arrows. I mean it's nice having the narc. Right? I just wish we had more of it. I mean we could go that route and then add another add another ton of fast cam uh, we're going to have to work on the armor too here in a minute uh, let's have a look firepower is dropping significantly our heat is way over so now we can work on pulling out right we can start pulling out some stuff which means we would be able to leave the extra ammo in. So maybe the patchworks go in the legs. Do we have another half ton of patchwork? I think we do. Okay. We'll just repair that. Um, it'd be nice to have like a void system in here. Uh, well, maybe we leave one of the patchworks out. Spa liner is nice too. I don't think we can put the void system in, right? Oh, we can. Leaving us three tons free. Um, problem again is space, right? If we pull the patchwork, it gives us three slots. Then we can go ahead and we can drop in the the chaff again. Where is it here? LRM chaff. I mean, do we want to put the thunder in? One mine per projectile, three mine trigger radius, 15% mine trigger chance. Uh, what is it for these guys? 20% mine trigger chance, three mines per projectile, six mine trigger radius is way better. 20 bomblets. Okay, so... Where's our arrow stuff here? We've got two more tons of fast cam we could drop in. That's like 20 turns of fast cam fire. Right? Do we? And then, honestly, do we really need the Inferno? Oh, I guess, well, you know what? The Inferno's nice to overheat somebody if we absolutely have to. And that gives us 100 tons. And then what we want to do, probably... Is work on getting the armor. The void system's nice. It should make it really, really hard for them to see us. And maybe the engine core is too big. Maybe we can drop the engine a little. Well, I don't know. It's nice to have that little, little bit of extra speed if we need it, right? Uh, the back doesn't need to be fully maxed out. So let's make sure our arms are maxed out because that's really important. Our torsos already are. How far can we get our legs here? Let's see if we can get 170 on both. Yeah. Go to 300 in the center. 180 on both legs. 
Yep. 305 in the center. I think that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that's probably going to be a little better. Although it would be nice to have more AMS ammo. If we're going to be going into uh, a... Um, I wonder if we just pull the LRMs all out, out all, all together. That'll give us three and a half tons. You know what? Let's do this. Narc and chaff. We want to make sure we have fast game on both sides. Right? Just in case we lose a side. Okay, and then we can put another ton of AMS ammo in. Right? And then we've got three slots left for secondary weapon systems. Our heat sinking is like phenomenal right now. So if we go with, I'm kind of thinking ER mediums. Um, we've got two and a half tons left. We need something that we can... Definitely not going to be able to put ballistic. ER medium pulse. <sighs> like we definitely need the backup systems, right? So... Let's do this. Double heat sink stay in the legs. Right. So we got free torso slots. And then we can put what else do we have? I mean we could put a regular clan AMS in here as well. And then a couple of medium lasers, ER mediums. as backup and I'm just thinking this just because we've got the uh, AM, advanced AMS to cover the the group that's 200 shots and then we got our own AMS to help us out we don't have any laser AMS's which really sucks oh we have do we do have this one but I'd rather not use it on this guy I thought we can anyway um, yeah, and then I'm thinking we just put in, we've got ER medium laser magnas, almost as good as clan ER mediums. They're really hot, but we're not going to be firing them most of the time. They're just really like the end game backup weapons. If we run out of ammo, we need to shoot something, we'll have them. Heat efficiency is actually still pretty good, even if we are shooting them both at the same, at the same time, but... I think this is probably a better way to go. Those LRM TAMs, I don't think we're doing what we wanted them to do. I'll let you know when that's done. And Timberwolf C, um, I'd like to get the... I wish we had another um, arm mount. I keep forgetting it with a stupid PPC capacitor as well. Um, we've got a Nova already in there. Yeah. I wonder if we should pull out the LRM. But then what else do we go with, though? That's the problem. Prototype double heat sinks. I mean, we could go that route instead. Like if we just change, so what's our heat sinking at right now? It's not very good. Yeah, 96, 113. If we do this, 66, 90, that's 24. And this is not even 24. It's 17 difference.
but that will help with this when this gets activated which we haven't been using the PPC capacitor I keep forgetting to use the damn thing I should just check my mechs every single turn just to make sure there's nothing that we haven't used now we do have space we can add patchwork materials now that we have them got them in the legs already we could put one more on the arm, like on, one on each arm we got a half load of AMS ammo um, Feral Lamellar for protection. But I wonder if we just go with... Um, we could just go with the Void system at range. Like if we go with the Void system, let's say. What's this say? can't put a void system in. I think we're having going to have the same problem with the uh, what? Why can't we install the NSS either? You got Nova CEWS. What is it we're missing? It requires an ECM to be installed. There is one. Unless the Nova CEWS doesn't count as an ECM. I don't know what else we can really do. I want to wait till we get another um, arm mount for this guy, but don't know if it's really worth it. Got the exchanger in there already. I mean, could turn him into a backstabber and put a uh, supercharger in this thing. I mean, it'll go pretty quick. Plus 15 heat when activated. With the LRM 15 gone, we're not going to be over heat. We need to augment it with something else. And I just don't think we have the stuff for that right now. Um, that being said, what if we do this, this, this um, could go with a heat bank. I mean, it's not a clan heat bank, but I was hoping we'd have enough to upgrade it to a to a. Um, LRM 20, but not quite enough. Could go that route. I mean, it's not much of a change. But it'll definitely help with the sinking, that's for sure. Let's just go with this for now. And I think that's all I want to touch today. We really need to get this catapult and this catapult switched around. But we're going to need C bills for that. So I'm going to have to leave it where we are right now. So let's manage our tasks a bit better here. We want to get the... Wow, Yomri's 15 days, eh? Let's get you up. I'm going to go like this. And let's get that into play. So 16 days, these guys will be back. Yeah. I mean, we'll have this Timberwolf back, so we'll have these four mechs to run, and then we'll have these four mechs to run. Sure. And we got contracts. I mean, we could go. We, we could take the four skull against Ghost Bear. Go with four fast mechs. I don't know if we're going to be... That's that's a tricky one now. Without without our heavier max back, this one's going to be a waste of time doing. Supply interdiction. Maybe we do this next episode, and then when we come back after that one, 
we'll probably we can just jump systems and see if we can find something else because this is going to take a while to come back and we got to get got to get some sea bills rolling here so 18 days yeah i mean we pull one mission jump jump to another planet and by that time we should have these two back uh and maybe the king crab back which might need more repairs even but i think that'll be enough and then when we come back we can uh hit up another mission maybe a couple more missions before this financial report so i think that's what we're going to do all right guys sorry the episode crashed like that but not much you can really do about it it was a pretty long battle and uh I did have an enjoy. It was pretty enjoyable. We learned some things about the Orman Gun Deer, which we learned before. I mean, which I forgot to change around. But having that extra extra fast gamma, I think pulling the the LRMs out and replacing them with medium lasers, I think will help a little later on in the game. Um, but it's, it'll be nice to have those twenty turns of um, straight up. Um, um, well, sorry, I guess it's not twenty turns. I guess it's going to be. 10 turns in total, 20 rounds of fast cam fire, which I think will be more than enough for a whole battle. So if we're up against the Raxilla again, and we're hitting it with those every single turn, it'll just go down. Um, and that's probably the best way to deal with it I can think of. Um, you know, because we can't get in a face-to-face -face battle with it. There's just no way. Um, not, with, not without some magical way to completely overheat it in one turn. Um... But since we're not doing flamers and melee max, there's not really much choice we can do on this on this side of things. So we might actually attempt it in Jade in um, sorry in Night Witches. Uh, it's a possibility if we can get um, Megasaur and um, Hot Dam within range, and we can overheat the thing. We can take it out with uh, with melee. But anyway, we'll leave the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments or questions in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.